All right, let's talk about the forecast for today because it is a it's another cloudy and humid kind of day. A lot of cloud cover here as we look toward the Camden waterfront from the city side over the river. You can see the bridge in the background. Not really much in the way of brightening in the sky just yet, thanks to a dense cloud cover all across the region. And we're looking at temperatures very, very warm. We wake up, we're still in the 70s all across the region. Zooming in on some spots here, we're 73 in Pottstown. Over in Coatesville, it's 72 degrees. Westchester sitting at 72 degrees as well. Heading down into South Jersey in the shore point, 76 in Atlantic City, 75 in Millville right now. It is a steam bath outside. Tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up to many spots in the 60s, so change is on the way, but it's a slow moving front that's moving through today. So this is kind of a transition day for us. We are going to see the best chance for showers and storms south and east of Philadelphia today. So you can see a few showers creeping into Delaware this morning. Back end of the front is right here, and we just have to wait for that drier air to sweep in. But first, a few scattered showers and storms. Here's the timing on this again this morning. The shore and Delaware brushed by a band of showers. You can see as we get through 930 or 10 o'clock, the front starts to come through. It does not have a lot of heat. We're not really going to be seeing the sun coming out, so not a lot of dynamics for storms to fire up. But I think if you're in Chester County, if you're in Berks County here, you may pick up a shower, maybe a brief rumble here about 10 o'clock. But later on this afternoon with the heating of the day and as much moisture as there is in the atmosphere south and east of the city, that's where some heavier storms could try to fire up. And by heavy, I mean mostly heavy rain as opposed to severe weather, much like what we saw yesterday with the risk for flash flooding in any of these heavier cells, mostly south and east of the city. And then the front clears by 10 o'clock tonight. Skies are clear tomorrow and we have just a really gorgeous Friday to look forward to and a really nice summer weekend as well. Watch how the dew points are going to drop. As we get through this afternoon by 330, the front starting to move through. You can see dew points dropping into the low 60s, which is an improvement by this afternoon. Still seeing dew points in the 70s. So you can see where the purple shading is. That's where humidity is highest. By later on tonight, though, the front pushes southward. We really start to erode that moisture. And by tomorrow morning, virtually no humidity, at least for July. When you're talking dew points in the 50s, that is extremely comfortable. And dew points may even drop into the 40s briefly tomorrow afternoon dry, almost crisp Canadian air moving in. So one last day of this cloudy, humid steam bath weather with scattered showers and storms. Tonight skies clear. It's much more comfortable. Tomorrow is a beautiful day, sunny and nice with low humidity. And if you're on vacation this weekend, the shore, the Poconos looking fantastic. Temperatures will be in the 70s on Friday, low 80s over the weekend. Closer to the city and surrounding suburbs, we've got a great stretch Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It will turn a little bit more humid by early next week, but still not terrible. Morning temps in the 60s, daytime highs seasonable through the weekend in the upper 80s to near 90. Great pool weather Saturday and Sunday.